How real is the world around you? Is it possible that the real world you experience every day exists in the same way that a three-dimensional image appears to exist on a hologram? I'm trained as a physicist and educator with a master's degree in physics. Here, I'll explain what this might mean based upon my own work in quantum mechanics. If we live in a hologram, the world may be less like a lifeless stage and more like a responsive, choose-your-own-adventure video game. Rather than worrying about losing or winning, the art of making choices becomes about up-leveling your skills to meet the next level of challenge. To understand what I mean, let's first talk about what a hologram is. A normal photograph captures a faithful, one-to-one -one representation of an object. When you look at it, you see each color on the film just where you would see it on the object. If you tilt the film, the image stays glued to its surface. But you can't just shine light on your retina and expect to see something. Everything would wash out. You have a lens in your eye for just this reason. The lens decodes the light entering your eye into a discernible image. To create a hologram, we don't use a lens at all. We simply capture the light in its natural, washed out state. But we do something special. We bounce a single color of light off the model of the city and we mix it with a pure version of that same light from a mirror. When it hits the film, a pattern occurs which is totally unique to the city. When you look directly at a hologram, all you see are complicated interference patterns. What you see bears no resemblance to the image that is encoded into the interference patterns. Yet when you shine a laser through a hologram, an image suddenly appears as if it's floating behind the film. The image appears extremely realistic. You can view it from many angles. In a photograph, you could say the image is stuck to the film. In a hologram, this isn't true. The image shifts over the film as you change your perspective. Notice how the location of the buildings near you move across the film from one corner to the other. The interference pattern stays glued to the film as it tilts, hardly visible, but the image of the 3D city moves relative to the film. After all, think about what makes something appear 3D. If you move your head, the scene you're looking at shifts in a strange way. This is called parallax. You understand the scene as three-dimensional because some parts of it move differently from other parts. The taller building appears closer simply because its pixels move faster. All that is changing is the relative positions of pixels on your retina. But you understand this to mean that you're looking at a 3D scene. Now, a hologram doesn't use a lens. It can capture all the information about the exact light pattern bouncing off the city. Then, when you shine a laser on the film again, you see the same light pattern that you would see if the city was actually there. So the key feature of a hologram is the manner in which an image appears and moves across the field of view. It does so because in light's natural, lensless state, the pixels get totally mixed together. Information about every part of the city exists in every part of the interference pattern on the film. In the next videos, we'll dive into this extraordinary feature of holograms and what it may tell us about choice in the real world.